<laughs> oh my god, you're so funny. I miss you so much. I miss you too. Isn't it crazy how we've only been dating a couple of months, but I feel like I've known you my whole life. Hey, that's how it is when you find true love. <laughs> You're an amazing person, and I'm just so happy we found each other. <laughs> you really do complete me. Mm. You really feel that way? From the bottom of my heart. Hey, if I'm lying, I'm dying. Oh, I love you now. I feel the same about you too. I love you. I love you too. You really do know how to make me feel special. Hey, am I still seeing you tomorrow? Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna come to you right after I get off work. I don't know, maybe we could get some ice cream or something? Yeah, that sounds like fun. But I gotta get a shower and get to sleep. I gotta get up early tomorrow. We'll talk soon, okay? Okay, sleep tight, love you. Love you. <laughs> oh my god, you really think that our kids would look terrible. I mean, my big head combined with your big head? Oh, what a sight. That is so mean to say. You're crazy. <laughs> I'm joking, baby. You know, our baby would be the most beautiful in the world. <laughs> yeah, I'm just sitting out here by the way. Yeah. Come on, let's get home. What the hell? Hey, let me call you right back. My eyes must be fooling me. Hey! What are you doing to this young lady? Uh, um, what do you mean? This is my girlfriend. Officer, I'm confused. Why are you stopping us? My reason for stopping you is to prevent you from something bad happening to you. Please enlighten me about the danger that I could be in. Well, you could have been kidnapped, you could have been murdered, or even raped, if you haven't already been. Excuse me? This is my girlfriend, what are you talking about? You shut your mouth whenever I'm talking to you, boy. You know what your people are good for. You see, my forefathers were turning their grave than they, they ever saw you trying to stain this beautiful white young lady. <gasps> <laughs> Excuse me, you cannot talk to him like that. I can talk to him however I please, and you should be ashamed of yourself. How could a beautiful white young lady like yourself devalue yourself with this muck? So you stopped us to harass us? And to show how racist that you can be? We're done. We're leaving. Get your filthy hands off of her! What have you done? Stay away from him before you make me have to shoot him. Get away! You're a monster! Leave us alone! He was about to rape you. I tried to save you. Now come on, let's go! <sighs> You're in for a treat. You have no idea who my mother is. Your mother is Carolina. Chief Carolina. And I'm sure she'll probably be proud that I saved her daughter's life. She'll probably even give me a medal. <laughs> save me? You just assaulted my boyfriend for no reason! You steady calling this black animal your boyfriend? It's pissing me off even more. Are you that manipulated? Uh, do you hear yourself? What kind of sick, twisted individual are you? Let me guess. He manipulated you to thinking that he was equal to us? Well, let me tell you something. They are not, and we just tolerate them. Mom! Oh my god, Mom, where are you? I'm pulling into the park. I'm still meeting you and Denzel, right? <laughs> Baby, what's wrong? Please hurry! I'm here. What the hell just happened here? You'll be happy to know that I helped save your daughter's life. I caught this dog trying to rape her. What the hell do you mean? Oh my god, are you alright? Somebody start talking, what happened here? Mom, we were just walking and this officer started harassing us and then he hit Denzel over the head with a gun. What did you say? I know your daughter is clearly manipulated and I tried to help her see that. 
Officer Dave, did you hit this young man in the head with your gun? He was trying to rape her. Rape? This is her boyfriend. They've been dating for three months. I've met Denzel several times. He's had dinner at my house, and he's not a thug. He's a nice young man with a bright future. Wait, what? Chief, uh, no offense, but you're okay with your daughter dating his kind? Oh, you're beyond ridiculous. His kind? What does that mean? No, the only kind that's here at this moment is the human kind. Three civilized human beings and one prick! Who's now lost his job and is gonna be serving time in prison for, for assaulting an unarmed man while using the law to his advantage to inflict force on an innocent human being. Uh, this is just a big misunderstanding, Chief. Um, uh, look, I was just a bit frustrated, and, and, and I was a bit upset, and, and, and I said a bunch of things that I didn't even mean, and, and, and I'm so sorry. Oh, you're not sorry. You're just sorry you got caught. You're disgusting. And don't think that I'm going to forget all the racial slurs that you just used in front of me. I can assure you that I was speaking out of frustration. And if you don't believe me, you can call my wife, and she'll tell you that we hang out with black people all the time. Oh, so now you're going to use the I have black friends excuse. God, you're pathetic. Officer Dave, turn around, disarm yourself, and get on your knees. Please, Chief, I, I beg you. Officer Dave, this is a direct order from the Chief of Police. Disobey again and I will use force against you. Disarm yourself, get on your knees, and put your hands behind your head. You're under arrest. Chief, if, if you could just forgive me, I, I, I'm so sorry, I, I, just please forgive me. You busted this man's head with your weapon and you degraded him and now you're begging for forgiveness? Look, I- Where's that I, top dog energy you had a few moments ago, huh? Look, I, I'm so sorry, I'll never do anything like that again. Yeah, I know you won't, because I'm gonna make sure of it. And you're gonna go to the, you're gonna go to the harshest prison we have. Now sit here while I call for some real officers to come pick you up. This is Chief Carolina. I need an officer and an ambulance at my location. I'll send you my location. Okay, thank you. That's all, I'm sorry. Trust me, I'm doing everything in my power to rid the force of these type of people. Mom, it was awful. This is so not right, baby. I am so upset right now. Do you think he'll be okay? He looks like he was hit pretty bad, but I, th I, mean, I think he'll be all right. I love you. And the moral of the story is, even though we live in modern times where people are smarter and more educated and know what's wrong from right, there are still some that remain stupid. All humans are precious, no matter their complexion or race. Thinking another human is beneath you does nothing but show arrogance, ignorance, and how silly you are. Let's treat everyone with respect. We're all human. No one is better than the other.